2022 is characterized by elevated and persistent inflation that forced central banks to hike at the fastest pace in decades. 2023 will be the year that the effects of these actions are felt, with recession risks rising across the globe. Price pressures are starting to moderate, and while we don't know where they will settle, inflation is transitioning from goods to services, which tends to be stickier. Structural changes also point to higher trend inflation. Central banks continue the economic balancing act with inflation, distorted labor markets, and financial stability. History suggests that most central bank hiking cycles result in recession, but the severity will likely vary across regions. What does that mean for investors? In our view, the shifting paradigm and changing market leadership is an advantage for those willing to lean against the wind. While we remain cautious at the top level, we're playing selective offense in value and small cap stocks. After the worst year on record for fixed income markets, rising yields have made bonds look more enticing than they have in a decade. But investors will need to be agile as we expect increased volatility and lower liquidity amid monetary tightening. Although credit spreads have widened, default rates are still quite low, making high yield bonds attractive alongside emerging market debt. Focusing on fundamentals and quality will be important. The world has been challenged by the pandemic, war and geopolitical tensions. Navigating this new reality, defined in part by deglobalization, will create winners and losers, and calls for greater selectivity. Investors should be prepared for higher volatility in 2023 and adjust their risk appetite accordingly. The good news is, following the valuation reset across most major asset classes, the starting point looks attractive. Staying agile will provide opportunity amid the dislocation.